already so today we are here to discuss about enzyme inhibitors enzyme inhibitors is an important question in your theory paper as well as a very important part of the multiple choice questions that you get in your various entrance exams this i'll show you through a small demonstration so that you will always remember for example this is an enzyme the small toy car is our enzyme and what does an enzyme do it increases the catalytic activity or the velocity of the reaction so this is how the reaction goes forward if you have enzyme in the reaction now how does generally it occur the the substrate is attached to the enzyme and thus the reaction takes place in its normal dimensions if there is any inhibitor in the environment maybe the reaction is completely stopped or maybe the reaction is slowed down so an enzyme inhibitor is one which decreases the catalytic activity of the enzyme now how many types of inhibitors are there there are reversible irreversible and allosteric inhibitors let's first check what is reversible inhibitor reversible inhibitor will bind to the enzyme or to the enzyme substrate non covalently in reversible the first inhibitor that we have is competitive inhibitor as the name suggests the inhibitor competes now who will it compete with it will compete with the substrate for example if this pink one is the substrate for the enzyme it exactly fits on the enzyme the area where the substrate is to fit the substrate fits exactly over here but in competitive inhibition if the replacement of substrate is done by the enzyme inhibitor like this and this is how the enz inhibitor sticks or binds to the enzyme and when this happens the v max or the velocity maximum remains unchanged but the km value increases so how do i put it for you to remember for you to remember in the exams for your mcqs one must remember that when one competes the kilometers increases when one competes in a race the kilometers increases this means when there is a competitive inhibition the km value increases but the v max remains unchanged okay so this is the competitive inhibitor in competitive inhibitor the one very good example is that if there is xanthine the substrate is xanthine and the enzyme is xanthine oxidase the reaction will produce uric acid but in cases where there is lot of uric acid production like gout you can give an inhibitor allopurinol and this allopurinol will directly sit on a enzyme inhibit the reaction and thus control the uric acid production and thus will be a part of treatment protocol in gout similarly a very important lifestyle disease that is increase in cholesterol if the substrate is hmg hydroxymethylglutarate and the enzyme is hmg coa reductase if this together is there the product formed will be cholesterol but we do not want more cholesterol in a patient who already has increased cholesterol levels so statins lovastatin or parvastatin acts as the enzyme inhibitor sits on the substrate and inhibits the reaction that is catalyzed by hmg coa reductase and thus cholesterol is not formed so this is all about competitive inhibitor but how do we go about a non competitive inhibitor 
a non competitive inhibitor can combine either with the enzyme or with the enzyme substrate but how does it happen the inhibitor binds anywhere it can bind over here here it is not necessary that it will bind at the site where the substrate has to bind so it binds anywhere and it distorts the enzyme configuration and thus it inhibits the reaction so in this reaction you can see the my toy car is not moving with the same speed it is decreased so the v max is lowered and the km value remains unchanged so in non competitive inhibition the v max is lowered and the km value is unchanged this is example is for this heavy metal ions which bind to the cysteine sulfhydryl group of the enzymes and thus inhibit those reactions now coming to uncompetitive inhibitor uncompetitive inhibitor here the main prerequisite is that it will bind only to that enzyme where the substrate is bound in non competitive it could bound to the substrate plus the enzyme or only the enzyme but in uncompetitive it has to bind to the enzyme plus substrate complex only so suppose this is the inhibitor and it sits over here both the km value and the vmax decrease see my toy car is moving slowly and the area covered or the kilometers covered is also very low this example of uncompetitive or anti competitive inhibition is the inhibition of placental alkylene phosphatase by phenyl alanine this we discussed was reversible inhibition irreversible inhibition the main and the big difference is that in irreversible inhibition there is covalent binding of the enzyme to the inhibitor that is why it is called as irreversible inhibition and the best example is disulfuram so in cases where a lot of alcohol is consumed or there is we have to do alcohol de addiction disulfuram is given and it inhibits aldehyde dehydrogenase because it inhibits aldehyde dehydrogenase the person doesn't want to drink more alcohol this leads to alcohol avoidance now how does it happen alcohol forms aldehyde and aldehyde forms acetic acid so the reaction where aldehyde forms acetic acid that reaction gets inhibited and this leads to more accumulation of aldehyde and thus the problem of overconsumption of alcohol is solved by this that's all for more such videos please tune into my youtube channel ritu chandel and the link is given below if you like such videos let me know in comments please share thank you for watching bye take care